All right, thanks, Dan. Practice becomes a little more perfect for labor and delivery staff at Gunderson Health System thanks to a new state-of-the-art birthing simulator. News 19's Roger Staffaroni gives us a look and a warning. What you're about to see does contain some graphic images. Although there is no human anatomy in this video, the simulator is very realistic. Uh, every time you get to see it work and all of its different advantages and where you can use it versus other simulators, uh, that is always a wonderful thing to see. A birth simulator is helping practice make perfect for the labor and delivery teams at Gunderson Health Systems. Practice in baby delivery becoming state of the art. For our nurses, we use it for new staff as well as seasoned staff. It allows us to go through especially emergencies in a controlled environment to help improve skills as well as teamwork and communication. The latest in birth simulators has made one big noticeable change. We were using mannequins and it's very different with a real person, someone that you can make eye contact with, someone who will talk with you, someone whose legs you can move more lifelike. And the biggest upgrade. And then to actually have a birth, um, it's just way more realistic than the mannequin. The simulator brings an element of real interaction between the patient actors and delivery staff in other facets of the birthing process as well. Being able to bring our standardized patients in lets them simulate the distress of birth. It has someone that you can talk to, that you can, uh, that you can react to. And technology in the simulator allows for a full range of birth scenarios, uncomplicated births to different emergencies. Oh, it is so crucial. It is wonderful for our care teams, our providers to have the opportunity to get real life simulations so that when they're in a critical situation, they have had a lot of experience training in that. Patient actors and high tech simulators so that the staff remains at the ready for whatever may come their way. We know that it's a simulation, but people do come to these professionally and treat it like it is the real thing. At Gunderson Health Systems in La Crosse, Roger Staffaroni, WXOW News 19. Now the simulation equipment costs around $61,000 and got a lot of support from the local Children's Miracle Network hospitals.